in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to make 3d text just like these using after effects so without further ado let's get started i don't trust my bitch she don't trust me either first thing you're going to want to need is some text i'd recommend going with a bold font just so you can see it better but it doesn't really matter but it will make it look better and just more readable i guess next thing you want to do is go to layer new and let's make a solid and i'm gonna go ahead and disable the text because we're not gonna need that no more and go ahead and go to the effects and presets and type in elements and we go ahead and add that to our solid layer we're gonna go to custom layers custom text and right here on path layer one we're gonna change it to the text which is a uh, tutorial for in my case is gonna be different for yours we're gonna go to scene setup and you're gonna go ahead and click extrude you're gonna get whatever text you um added and there you go Thanks for watching. I've been feeling like I am the one. No, I'm just playing. All right, you have the option to go to presets, bevels, and you actually have some already bevels here that you can use. But for this video, we're going to be making our own custom one. So the first thing um, you want to do is right here on bevel copies, go ahead and make two. And if we open this, it's going to have a second bevel. Uh, but before that, let's actually uh, right here, bevel scale extrude a little bit more we go to the bevel 2 and let's go ahead and expand edges and decrease this just so we can have a little bevel just like this now for this video i'm going to be using pro shaders 2 if you don't have this you can <clears throat> do your research i'm going to go ahead and add one of these if your quality looks like this you can uh make it look better by selecting this right here and basically it shows what it actually looks like um, this is just like a draft texture so it won't be too heavy on your computer wait 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 subscribe um let me see which one I like i'm gonna go ahead and go with this one now sometimes you might have your texture be really big and so it makes the texture look low quality one thing you can do is go up here and then go down to uv mapping and right here on uv repeat just bring this up a little bit so i'll, I'll go with two and then two and it just makes the um texture a little bit better quality another thing you can do to make everything look nicer is going to environment and selecting a different environment and it would just add like different lighting um you, you just don't want to add it too dark because then well it's going to be hard to see as you can see it got reflective um when i changed the environment now if you don't want these hard like slices i don't even know what to call this um but the fix is by going up here and actually right here going up and then bevel backside and it's gonna bevel the backside as well you can also mess with these settings and you'll get different looks so i'm just gonna lower these bevel segments just so it has like a cleaner cut and we're just gonna go ahead and press okay one thing you can do is go to layer new and create a camera i'm gonna make this a 28 millimeter and then we're gonna go to world transform scale this a little bit higher maybe bring this down a little bit actually let's bring it up i think it looks better like that now i kind of want the the text to be longer as in like thicker so we're gonna go back to scene setup and i'm just gonna go ahead and extrude the text just like this i think that's enough maybe a little bit more like that but it made the text kind of fatter i think so let me try and fix that there it goes and now something you can do is add some lights so go to layer new lights now whenever you have a chrome type of text lighting is probably like lighting is probably not gonna work as good because um the reflections or whatever so just try and put some lights where, wherever you can hey hello if you're an editor and you're watching this and you want to become a better editor i actually have a patreon where i do tutorials watch me edit breakdowns and other things editing related if you guys are interested my patreon link will be in the description now back to the video like right here let me just change the color of this one going down here i'm gonna change it to like a yellow goldish color um uh, maybe a little bit more orange like that something that might help is going to your render settings and going to lighting and right here on add lighting you can 
you have all of these presets of lighting um that actually look pretty good so dramatic you know it has some cool 360 you have aqua you have product all these different type of um, preset lightings i guess um i think i'm gonna go with 360 you can also change the rotation of it so if you don't like how it looks like like that you can change um the look of it for animation what you can do is go to world transform world scale make a keyframe put this a little bit forward bring this to zero and then let's go ahead and easy easies and then i'm gonna use this graph right here to go like this and it goes like this but it looks a little stiff it, it looks smooth but i want the text to be a little bit more alive so it actually just so you can actually see that it's 3d wait 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 subscribe so what i'm gonna do is go to group one particle replicator particle look multi-object enable this and then we're gonna mess with this so basically let's create a keyframe bring this to the end and a little bit like this and if we play it now you get some rotation just like this um if you want you can rotate the words like this but as you can see mine is way too thick for that something else that kind of helps is x display so if we add this um over time it's gonna stretch a little bit like that so it starts opening pause i'm gonna go back to world transform and i'm gonna use the x rotation to flip it so i want to make a keyframe right here and then it's gonna go this way like that and then we add a graph you play it and now you get this i think is a little too slow so let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit more so you play and you end up with something like this like i said you can it's all gonna depend on how you customize your text it's always gonna be different like i showed in the intro i have a bunch of different edits where i've added 3d text and on every single one they're a little bit different and on all of them i've used this same technique so as long as you're following this tutorial, you're going to get something similar. More things that you can do to enhance, um, I guess, the look of your uh, text is going to render settings, going to shadows. And that's if you have lights, you can enable this and sometimes it gets shadows. So you can see, it just depends where you add your lights. Another thing you can do is go into ambient occlusion. If you enable this, as you can see, it's going to add a shadow in it. And it's just going to make the text look even more realistic. If you want it even more realistic, you can change that, uh, the mode right here to ray traced. And it just gives you a better shadow, in my opinion. Um, if your shadow is a little low quality, what you can do is right here on multi sample. You can boost this up to four or maybe eight if you want. If we zoom into the text, you might see like these little um, blurry parts. If you want to just sharpen them a little bit more. What you can do is go to output, go to multi sampling and change to 32 or something closer to that. Um, also with super sampling, you can boost this to eight if you want and just changes the look of the, um, the text. But um, sometimes it looks better without it. So with zero, I think I feel like it looks better on zero than this. And also you can enable this in enhanced multi sampling. And it just makes it better quality just be careful because once you do all of this and you add motion blur your pc might be going crazy that's all i'm saying you can spice this text up by duplicating it and adding deep glow and adding an s curve to it just like this i just feel like it makes the text really pop but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like this video and definitely subscribe because we're on our way to 100k also feel free to check out my instagram i'll be posting my work on there and that's probably where i'm the most active on but other than that i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching deuces I'm king of the hell, I just be counting my stacks Don't really fuck with you, I come off like Bill Yeah, just like that um...